Federal Republic of Nigeria, our First Lady, Dr. Dame Patience, good luck, Jonathan, as she gives us her remarks. Um, Her Excellency, my twin sister, my friend, the wife of the Vice President of Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ajia Aminas Namadisambo. Her Excellency, my younger friend, Helen David Mark, wife of the Senate President. Wives of distinguished senators here present. Wives of members of House of Representatives that are here, permit me to specially recognize the Honorable Minister of State FCT, uh, Jimoke Akinjide, my dear friend. Wives of Honorable Ministers here present, especially the founder and the chairperson of Almahaba Foundation, our host. Ajia Ishabala Mohammed. May I especially recognize the wife of the Chief of Defense Staff that is here with us, Mrs. Apolona Betore, and the wife of the DGNIA that is also here with us, Mrs. Eunice Oludeji. And uh, the wife of the Controller General of Prisons, that is also here with us, Mrs. Ruth Ebrahim. And the wife of the DG Nostra, that is also here with us, Mrs. Florence Edamo. Permit me to recognize my dear friend, Hajia Bola Shagaya, the MD. Patrick Oil Limited that is also here with us. Um, may I specially recognize the wife of the permanent secretary of FCT that is here with us, Mrs. Grace, that is also here with us. Presidents of Khan Abuja Jamta, Reverend is Israel, that is also here with us. Our royal fathers here present, especially His Royal Highness, Alaji Idris Musa Sarake Jiwa, that is also here with us. Um, His Royal Highness, Alaji Muhammadu Umar Belu Aguru, of Zuba that is also here with us. President, National Council of Women's Society, uh, Abuja Jabta, Mrs. Naisi Godwin Belus, that is also here with us. And our own mama that I always call her Mama Market, the President General of Market Women Association that has been making every woman occasion colorful for us with our team, uh, Mrs. Felicia Sani. Members of Board of Trustee of Almahaba Foundation that are here, distinguished members of my own entourage that has come here with me, ladies and gentlemen, and permit me to recognize all the associations that have spent the whole day here, that has come here to graceful 
honor this occasion with us. Gentlemen of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be here today at this important event in which many of our women and youth will be given a new lease of life by the Almahaba Foundation. I am particularly happy that my daughter, the wife of the LCT minister, Aji Aisha Bala Muhammad, is following my footsteps and empowering women and youths in Nigeria. I am also delighted that she is also making a contribution in giving the women and youths of Nigeria a sound economic base. This will enable them to be self-reliant and be able to contribute meaningfully to the development of our dear country, Nigeria. Let me state here that the issue of women empowerment is a global concern. It is not a matter limited to Nigeria alone. This is because in many parts of the world, women are seen as having a lower social and economic status. This has therefore made them to be discriminated against. It is on this note that our efforts to empower women and youths should be seen as a step in improving the status of women and also making the youths better citizens. Permit me to note that Empowering the women and the youth is very important in achieving the objectives of the Millennium Development Goals, which is the MDGs. All hands must therefore be on deck if Nigeria must attain the 2015 target for achieving the Millennium Development Goals, which is the MDGs. I also need to emphasize that empowering the youth will help achieve peace in our nation because it is mostly when the youths are jobless that they become instruments of violence. Today, I am happy that 300 women and youths from the Seas Area Council of Abuja we benefit from the goodwill of Almahaba Foundation. I believe this gesture will enable them to generate income, to take care of their families, as well as contribute to building peace in our nation. Let me also state that this effort of Almahaba Foundation is in line with the goals of my own NGO, the A. Arera Richard Foundation, that has been training women and youths to acquire skills to enable them earn a good living. Since inception, the foundation has graduated more than 4,000 trainees who received their training free of charge and were provided with working tools and capital to start their own businesses. Apart from this, my foundation has also provided education for women on family planning, safe motherhood, and champion against female gentle mutilation, early marriage, and harmful widowhood practices. It, it has also sponsored many children with heart conditions overseas for surgeries and medical treatments in Nigeria. And by the grace of God, very soon, those people suffering from heart 
diseases, and also women for gynecological problem. Going abroad will be 18 of the past. We are going to, by the grace of God, this year, our hospital will be one of the best in the whole Africa. All of these are in demonstration of my devotion to the social, economic, and well-being of our people. Before I conclude, I wish to commend my own dear daughter, Aji Aisha Bala Mohammed, for this worthy initiative. I urge the beneficiaries of these empowerment items that I will distribute shortly to make good use of them. Please, it's for your own benefit. Don't sell them. Make use of it. And I believe if you make use of it very well, you will take care of your families. You will complement to the, and also doc document the men, especially our husbands, assist them in contributing for the development of the home front. May I also use this opportunity to call on well-meaning individuals and organizations to emulate the good example of al Mahaba Foundation by putting smiles on the faces of the less privileged in our society. On these notes, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to now officially go over there and hand over the empowerment items to the beneficiaries. But before I end this um, address, I will specially recognize especially the members of this constituency that this um, item is being distributed. That's the chairman of the local governments of FCT and their wives. And also to recognize uh, uh, the singer that praised the woman. You are appreciated by the women of Nigeria. Thank you, and God bless us all. We are starting.